I drew all double wishbone suspension. It is in a stock. If the car is lifted, see what has happened. Upper control arm is more shorter. The fore it has more strong depend uh, on lift. It moves wheel sideways, and in the place the arm upper arm will contact with the spring. I tell that even modified for lift upper arms hit springs. Installing spacers under ball joints. we could return arm to its small horizontal position. Camber comes to its normal position. We can see normal wheels travel in stock. On lifted KJ with lift more 2 inch lift uh, wheel will travel wrong all time. I made spacers to correct that. In my arm suitable for one and a half two inches lift, there is ball joints with more longer cone on stood. Longer about uh, 20 millimeters. If convert this value in relation one to one and a half, it make one and one and a half inch lift. Those with a small lift upper control arm will in normal position. The here the wheels move a little, which will disappear, but uh, and on a stock AJ arm will work correctly. Let I show, let it here. We could see it works normally. Let's go back to the lifted suspension. Here it is. Uh, that is the place of contact uh, with the spring. By installing ball joint spaces, we return upper control arms to more horizontal position and move it far from the spring. Uh, these balls don't need uh, just much. And with lift, uh, it's very difficult or impossible to make adjustment. And here, uh, upper control arms hit spring. If install ball joint spacers, we return uh, suspension to the norm.